One screaming fast growth in your grow? Today, we're talking about the secrets behind it. Temperature, humidity, and VPD. But before we do, today's video is brought to you by Real Growers Recharge. If you want stronger, healthier plants, if you want bigger roots for better fruits, you gotta check out Real Growers Recharge. It's like an instant compost tea that holds more nutrients at your root zone, breaks those nutrients down, and makes them more plant available, getting more of your nutrients into your plants. Find out more about Recharge over at realgrowers.com. And while you're there, use coupon code Sky. Scotty 420 to get 20% off your first order. Now let's get back to the show. Come on, high C. You down with VPD? Newbie grower, I don't know what VPD really means. <laughs> ah, it's easy, man. It's temperature and humidity. It means vapor pressure deficit. It's how temperature and humidity affect the plant. And we are affected by temperature and humidity as well. I always just use an athlete. If you have an athlete, if you're going to run a marathon and it is 90 degrees out and 90% humidity, Ooh. you're not gonna perform, right? Because what happened, even, even if it was high temperature, say it was 78 degrees out, pretty nice temperature, but it was 95% humidity. Like super muggy. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to perform because what do we have to do when we're running, when we're exercising, our body is cooling itself. And so it's pulling this vapor from inside our bodies and it is, or this moisture from inside our body, sweat, and then it is vaporizing off. And as it's doing that, it's allowing more sweat to come out and more cooling to happen. But if it's all muggy, it's just gonna get clogged up and yes. I'm gonna not wanna run. Yes, and now think about that. We talk about plants with the stomata. The leaves have stomatas that open and close, kind of like pores for lack of a, you know, a, a better comparison. So we wanna keep those pores open and we want to keep moisture coming from those roots nutrient rich water coming up through those roots and out those open stomata so if it is too dry then what are the stomata going to do they're going to close and they're going to say hey man i got to keep all the moisture mm -hmm. i can so it's going to slow the you know the highway it's going to slow the uh, flow of nutrient rich water coming up there so it's going to prevent it from exhaling that water, expelling that water. Yes. That's gonna stop it from absorbing the water and it's just gonna yes. kind of st stunt your plants. When you have perfect VPD or your VPD in range, meaning you've got the temperature to where your plants are metabolizing, they're working fast, and you've got the humidity down to where they're not just close to it. Oh my God, I've got to hold on to every bit of moisture. It's so dry in here. Or, oh my gosh, it is so humid in here that I can't even get this moisture off my leaf surface. Mm -hmm. We want it in that perfect range. And there is a range. This is, it's not hard, man. We want this right temperature and humidity range so that the plant is able to, it doesn't have pressure, vapor pressure sitting on it. It has a deficit. So it's allowed to ah. off gas and it is allowed to breathe. And then the whole point behind all of this is if we give it that perfect ideal environment just like an athlete can really perform your plants will be able to perform yes now don't forget the plants are getting their nutrients they're getting their remember we're talking about sugar and glucose remember it's made out of hydrogen and carbon and oxygen uh co2 is uh sorry rather h2o rather oxygen it's a big part of that glucose so the more water that you have coming up and going out that's the more hydrogen and oxygen and whatever you know that that it's bringing up there the carbon it's going to get from the uh from the co2 but all the nutrients that facilitate all that that is coming up from the the soil through the roots and then out the stomata okay so let's talk about ideal vpt ranges ideal temperature and yeah. humidity um i i know a little bit not knowing that it was called VPD, but I just know based off of temp and humidity, sure. it's not the same in veg that it is in bloom or no. incorrect. Yeah, I mean, the plants are acting differently. In veg, you've got uh, uh, just a huge surface. You've got all solar panels right there. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're able to uh, use a little bit more humidity there. We'll say like 77 degrees, that's like room temperature. So you want it a little bit more humid in, actually, as you go down from clones, you want it significantly humid. 
humid. You can have 80% there because you're not so much worried about the clone. The clone well, the clone, the clone can't get water from the roots. That's, yeah, thank so you. So it needs to get water from the, yes. the leaves. So, so we're not trying to get it to transpire so much. We're not trying to get it to suck water through the roots mm-hmm. and come on out. We're trying to get it to hold that so it can make some roots. So and, extra humidity during clones. Yep. And, okay. then so, and then just think about that. So as you go down, once you're in veg and please consult there is vapor pressure deficit charts you just come on it's it's 2025 you can yell it into your phone it'll give you five good ones out there but check it out there is a range but the idea is as you go uh, further into flower you want to lower your humidity down a bit so we're going from you know whatever you would be in clones shoot you'd probably be in the 80s in clones you know and then you want to go down to i want to say 80 percent humidity or 80 temperature I probably both to be honest oh, with you, okay. but to be honest, the clones are kind of a no brainer for me. I didn't research that one as far as the, uh, the actual range, but man, you want your humidity high, uh, even fairly high temperatures. I don't mind being in the high seventies mm-hmm. in, in, uh, cloning. All right. So in veg, we'll do like 77. That's room temperature. It's a good place to start. 60 to 65 percent humidity somewhere around there okay. so it's not so humid that the, the plants can take that uh, they can respire they can take that uh, nutrient and nutrient rich water that is in the soil and the root zone and pass it through their stomata and get everything they need to make glucose from it okay so like 77 degrees yeah 60 65 percent humidity what about when we go into bloom just lower it a little bit more so now we want to, don't forget, you got those big flowers on there. Uh, you've got, the hum- you don't want too much humidity. You can get bud molds mm-hmm. and they're just not doing the same thing as they are when they've got that giant solar panel with all those stomata. Mm-hmm. So turn the humidity down. You would want to keep it, shoot, you can go to a 40 to 50 something percent humidity right in there, 40s, 50s. All right. But- what about temperature? Uh, you can keep, I always like to dial my temperatures down a, a bit more in flour because you don't want the terpenes to mm. volatize off. So, so instead of 77, what are you looking for? I'd go like blend? 74 or 70, you know, mid 70s. Sometimes people even turn them down to low 70s. And there is a, a trade off of how fast the plant is going to grow mm-hmm. uh, and trading it off with uh, keeping your terpenes. So it's kind of personal preference. But the idea here is to just to let you know that as you go further into bloom, uh, your humidity has to go down. It's a, it's a big deal. Seems like temperature and humidity, you're slowly kind of going down on both of those as you go further in the plant's life. Yeah. I mean, a lot of that has to do with the terpenes volatizing off. Hey, I don't want to diminish the importance of a good setup, lights and nutrients and all that kind of stuff. But I do want to emphasize how important environment is. You can have all the light in the world. If your plants can't breathe, then it, it's no good. You can have all the CO2 in the world if your plants can't grab that nutrient and make glucose out of it and off gas it it's a total waste of money so yeah that's that's what i want you to know here come on but what about you how important do you think vpd is to your grow let me know in the comments come on if you like this video please hit that like button smash that subscribe button share this video with another grower you know and check out the other couple videos youtube is recommended because i think you'll dig them